Lotus Evora 400 made a debut at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show and we paid the sports car a visit at the Lotus stand. We were really curious to see for ourselves if this is a serious facelift or someone just played with a pencil on a drawing board for long enough to come up with this. It started out as an ambitious initiative, called Project Eagle, but something got lost along the way. The Evora was launched in 2008 and was followed in 2010 by the Evora S. And now, we get this, the Evora 400. The 2 plus 2 mid-engine sports car made an appearance in Geneva but the thing is, it didn't do much to convince the audience. I mean, its styling cues have changed, but otherwise, we could be looking at a new body kit on the same chassis. Call it tuning and you won't be wrong at all. Anyway, you know it's a Lotus no matter where you're standing but there's that strange feeling you have when you expected a lot more and got way less. Disappointment that's the word or maybe Lotus is having identity issues at the moment. In terms of performance, the Evora 400 is good for 406 HP and 410 Nm, 302 LB feet, squeezed from the Toyota Source 3.5, liter V6 engine that received a bigger supercharger and a set of ECU upgrades. The Evora 400 is the fastest road-going Lotus that we have ever produced, possessing performance that can only be matched by cars costing significantly more. It delivers supercar looks allied to supercar performance, explained Lotus Cars boss Jean-Marc Gales. On that note, we would like to add that the Evora 400 can go from 0 to 100 km per hour, 62 mph, in 4.1 seconds before topping out at 300 km per hour, 186 mph.